Hello and welcome to episode 6 of how to set up and run a successful Minecraft server. This is Martin Spartan here, and in this episode we'll be going over permission nodes, uh, what they are and how to use them, how to set up Big Brother, and how to use Big Brother. Uh, so let's get started. So we're out here at uh, Big Brother's plug uh, bucket page, and we need to find permission nodes. In the last episode we set up the plugin, we installed the plugin, and it loaded fine with no errors. Um, so for right now we need to figure out, we need to find permission nodes. So all plugins that have user interaction usually have permission nodes, and they're usually posted somewhere on the, in the main thread. If not directly on the thread, in a permissions drop-down list like this, or a um, or a link to an external wiki like this one. So we have a full list of command and permission nodes. Click that; it brings us out to here. And here we have it. This is what we're concerned with. We have the command. And it's usually broken down like this: uh, command on the left what the permission node that is associated with that command is, and then a description. So there are three permission nodes. There's bbadminwatch, bbadminfo, and bbadminrollback. So we want our moderators to be able to um, take a look at who modified an area and be able to roll it back. So we open up uh, our server, we go into plugins, permissions, open up world, and then open up groups, because we want the moderator group to have these permissions. So we are concerned with this chunk right here. Um, so what we do is we uh, come into our moderator group, permissions, press enter, make sure to go back so you don't have any spaces, or any tabs rather. One, two, three, four. You do a, a hyphen, a space, and then you do the permission. So bb.admin.info. Um, and one trick I like to use when setting up you know, these YML files, especially permissions, is so when you press enter, it sends you to that same column that it, you were on before, the line before started, and that's kind of annoying. So, but if you, if you know that you're going to be doing, um, you know, BB admin or whatever, you can go ahead and copy this whole line all the way back to the start, to the far left, copy it, press enter, hit backspace a couple times, and then paste, and it should be formatted right. Correctly. So then all I have to do is type rollback. There. Then you can go ahead and save it. Um, close it out. And we have to copy the groups file to a, our world nether. Just copy and replace it. And we're good to go. So then that's permission nodes. Um, it's pretty easy. So let's set up Let's set up Big Brother. So we go back to our permissions folder, or our plugins folder, sorry. And we go into Big Brother. And we have a couple things here, uh, Big Brother.example.yml, h2, and Big Brother.yml. Um, let's see what's in this. Okay, so this is the file, but it doesn't really tell us much about what these things are. So we can close this and open up uh, Big Brother example. And this has all the comments in it. Um, that tell us what everything is. So let's go through it. We have general stuff. Um, let's see, for the love of God, do not use tabs. Um, let's see, so we've got uh, store map of block owners for fire, love, and water tracking, use for tracking. Uh, let's leave that alone. Um, we'll leave that blank because we want everything, every block to be looked at. Um, that's not used. Uh, personal stuff about each person in a log file. I think this is supposed to be false by default, but you want to change that to true because what this does is it creates a log file for every single person who connects to your server and it tracks um, what we tell it to, but it's going to be very useful for us. Um, so, automatically start watching people as they join the server. Yes, we would definitely want that. Um, so that way, all new, everybody is being watched. Um, I didn't give the moderator group that last permission, BB admin uh, watch, because I don't want them to be able to change who's being watched. I want everyone to be watched no matter what. All right. Uh, debug mode leaves the same. Uh, default search radius uh, for BB here, uh, five is, is good. 
We'll skip that. Um, restore fire. Uh, we don't want to bring fire back into the world. That doesn't seem very good. So we'll leave that as false. Um, that's just the super stick item. We can leave that alone as well. And automatically download the library of files it needs. Yeah, we can leave that true, and it's already done that. So then we have some database stuff here about uh, databases. We're going to go over MySQL um, in a later episode. But for now, we're just going to leave this alone, and we'll come back to this when we talk about databases. Anyway, here's what's being watched. Uh, do you want to watch um, Lava Flow and Lava Decay? Uh, no, not really. Um, and then stuff for the player specific logs. Do you want to watch drop items, the IP of the player, whether they disconnect or log in, pick up items or teleport? Uh, yes. Do you want to track explosions from TNT creepers and other stuff? Yes. Um, chat commands by players as well as chat? Yes. And um, what blocks they can make changes to, like chests? Um, yes. And as well as like flint logging, door opening, levers, switch and button press. Yeah. We'll leave the rest of that alone. So we really only changed one thing, but it's an important file. You can feel free to change whatever you want to change in here. So we'll go ahead and save it. Uh, we'll close out of this. And then let's run the server and figure out and explore how Big Brother works. Ah, perfect. All right, kick to the local host. All right, it's kind of raining in my server. That's annoying. Hope you guys can see it. Um, I can't turn the weather off, unfortunately. All right, so I've got this nice hut over here uh, that we're going to blow up with TNT in a second. But uh, the first thing I want to do is just break some dirt, because I'm a griefer, and I'm griefing my server, and and I don't, I don't like it. The server is annoying me. So I'm going to make everyone's life living hell on the server by breaking this tree. And then some of this dirt. Alright, so as an admin on the server, I come over and see that... Oh my god, somebody griefed my tree. That's not cool. I want to know who that was. So I can come over here, and I can stand kind of in the same area of the tree. And I can type slash bb space here. Oh, and it says uh, that Player Marching Spartan has modified this area 11 times. Um, okay, that's cool. What did he do specifically? What did he do? So I can type slash bb here marching Spartan. Oh my god, he broke three logs and broke five grass blocks. That's unbelievable. Um, well, that's good. At least I know what he broke. So now I can go ahead and I mean, I could fix it. I could rebuild this tree, and I could put the dirt back where I think it might have been, but that's annoying and, and is not really practical. So we can do BB rollback target myself marching Spartan. And I need to add a radius, so I'm going to add a radius of 15. Bam, there it is. The tree is back. The grass, The grass is back. Successfully rolled back, um, 87 edits, uh, it says um, what that stuff was, and yeah, this area is looking pretty good now. It's not griefed anymore. So all that time that griefer spent breaking your stuff was literally fixed in about 30 seconds. Alright, well, that's dumb, because uh, I'm going to have to be the undo. So if you make a mistake and destroy stuff that you actually built and you want to have there, Handy command called bb undo. Puts everything back the way it was. And, well, that's just fine. Okay. So I'm going to rebuild this area by making my radius a little bit lower. But I'm going to time set 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 for a second. All right, so let me rebuild this. bb roll back, marching Spartan, radius uh, something a lot smaller than 15, 5. Uh, nothing to roll back. Anyway, you saw it work. Um, Alright, so this got blowed up. What the heck? Who blew this up? Let's BB here. It says the environment blew it up. That's true, because it was a block of TNT. So why don't we just say we can target the environment instead of a particular player. 
BB rollback environment. And I'm not going to target a radius, and it's going to say, hey, you sure you want to do that? And I'm going to say, yep, I'm sure I want to do that. Boop. Look at that. The, uh, the pig dies in the, in the ground there. Everything's back to normal. Uh, there's a few other tricks we can do with Big Brother here. Um, I can go ahead and build this tower here. Say, oh no, somebody did a grief somebody built this little griefer pillar. Um but I don't necessarily want to use BB here because it's it's got a big radius, and all I really care about is these three blocks. So I'm gonna do BB log. And that puts a log in my inventory. And if I left click on blocks, it tells me who placed it and when. Place some dirt. Um if I right click in a in a space where there's a um, non-solid block like air or water or lava. It tells me that I placed a block of wood, then I broke a block of wood. Um, and I can go ahead and BB rollback marching Spartan. Now I'm going to do a, a timed rollback by doing T colon one minute. Look at that. There it goes. Goodbye. Um, and lastly, I think I can do, you can do action-based rollbacks as well, but I don't have a creeper here to show you, so, but I think I can do placed dirt, let's see, oops, here we go, uh, placed block dirt, so let's see if I can see if this works, maybe rollback, placed block BB, BB confirm. No, that didn't work. All right, but I know you can do like BB roll back uh, creeper explosion. BB confirms. Nope, nothing roll back. Um. Now it's important to note that if you don't do radiuses, it'll it'll default to the entire server and it'll roll back everything across the entire server. Um, so it's important to, to do radiuses and make sure you've got you've got things right. But again, if you always if you make a mistake, BB undo will undo your previous rollback with no problems. Well, this concludes episode six. In episode seven. We'll be talking about how to set up command book and how to register and install MC bans so you can get uh, get all the people who are griefing on your server banned. Um, we'll also go over what is MC bans and why it's so awesome. So thanks very much for watching. If you in, are enjoying this series, subscribe up top and like down below. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind when you subscribe, you'll get notif notified about uh, future episodes. So thanks for watching.